Hello. Hello. Welcome to the miniature world of Kit and Caboodlers. We are a mother-daughter team who spend our time searching various places around Britain, such as beaches and woodlands for old forgotten treasures. We then bring these treasures home to create miniatures and dolls for our handmade 1940s sugar box dolls house. Come along and see what we made this time. And as always, we hope you enjoy. Hello. Hello. So we recently found a whole bunch of 1930s newspaper at a bottle dump and we have lots of exciting craft ideas for it yeah. and in this episode we're going to be making some tiny mm. books <laughs> using the newspaper and also some brown fabric that we also found at a bottle dump. So let's see how this goes. We've never made books before, so we hope you enjoy. Nestle, Nestle's milk, Nestle milk, milk, Nestle. <laughs> when you're, you've grown up, it seems, you're going to have what you like for breakfast. When you are young, it's, almost, it's mostly porridge. Not very exciting, unless they add a big spoonful of Nestle milk. That makes it richy, richer, creamier, delicious, and you would do a lot more good. And we'll, oh, we'll do you a lot more good. Mm. This bit's... What's this one? Oxidol. There's a tiny Oxidol Ooh, bottle that books there. Nice. Look, United Dairies. Huh? We find that bottle all the time, that milk bottle. They had like little adverts for things. Do we want the Oxidol? Yes. Even though it has her fingers in it? Yeah, we'll just okay. draw over her fingers. Yeah, United Dairies. Rich, fresh, creamy milk from England's famous pastures. Banished his rheumatism, six sorts, crushing. But there's no thing, but it's Christian sorts. Mm. You find Christian all the time. So I'll take that pan and my scissors. That will, that will go on a jar for sure. Yeah, because that's, that's obviously Mickey or Donald. Yeah, we can use the face. Uh, no, there's a hole on there. I mean, it's, oh, he's quite, it's quite big. big. You can pin him on, you know, like we said, we've just cut some out and just pin him on. Yeah. He could be like a poster, couldn't he? That might be quite cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, nicotine traps really necessary in a pipe. <gasps> oh, we have to keep that one. Mother, I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And another clock, but it's slightly sideways, so I don't know how that works. <gasps> oh my goodness! There you go. There you go. Looks tiny, tiny clock watch, there. and there's some books, and like an art set. Hmm. That's but perfect. But there is though. some piano keys, so that is we per can make perfect. a piano. Because I was a bit, con I wanted to make a piano. But I didn't know how. So there you go. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been quite cool for school, too. Oh, no, it would have been good for the dolls' hospital. Oh! <laughs> it's um, oh. a poster of the lumbar nerve. Although it wouldn't have made Can sense, because dolls don't have <laughs> nerves. <laughs> wow, this is a good page. Oh, nothing else is in here. Very careful with that page. Because I mean, you could make a little um, clock for mantelpiece with that. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes you could. Not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One more cold thing. No. Well, sort of. Um, just 
I don't know why it made me laugh so much. I just wasn't expecting to. to it just takes up the whole page. Oh <laughs> no way! It's a very, very valuable tonic, oh, Guinness. Guinness. This is little. Oh, that's just lovely. Anyway, anyways. you can just put that in a frame. Put that in our kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll keep it. You love a moon face, don't you? I do love a moon face. I know it's not technically a moon because it's a glass of Guinness, but I just love faces. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> Will that be in the kitchen? Yes. Of beef and pickles. <laughs> the beef and pickles. <gasps> we could make a tiny pub one day. It's going to be a very tiny book. It's going to be a very, very tiny book, yes. Has it got a title? Um, no. <laughs> now, in my head, this is Again, again. <laughs> again, I... Have I ever made a book before? No. I don't no. know, have you? No. Not beyond just like paper ones for my Barbies, just bending it over. I'm just cutting slits in the corners. Oh, you're going to stick it over it? Wow. That's how you make books. Wow, that's <laughs> full on. Seen books being made before. You need one of those tools. They have special bookmaking things. They do. Looks cute. And there 
is the start of our book. <laughs> Where's the plain piece? Here. Oh, yeah, no. Nothing on the other side. No, these are reject pieces. Nice. Book version two. We've only just started filming this one because it was going the same way as the first one, but now Kate's. Yeah, th th this is a yeah. This is the open book from the newspaper. Oh, a of an I can't see. Book. I should put my glasses on. We just thought that just doing the same things. Yeah. This is going to be an open book. Yes. So it needs to be bent. So, hmm. will this work? Who knows? That's adorable. See, I need to trim around, make the bottom bit look more like a book.
going to have to lift the edge of that up then because the other bit rips under, is underneath if you see what I mean. clouds. Yeah, it has to dry first though. What is that thing behind them? I don't know. It looks like a, a observatory or mm. something. <laughs> or a silo. Just leave it the colour it is. It is old, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> also do need Here's my mechanical pencil. Oh, your head just gone right there. You're drawing in his features again. It's just no, he's just a bit too pale. Oh, <laughs> oh, that looks more like a children's book for sure. Mhm. Mm nice. It still looks like a really nice picture for the wall too. Oh, I don't know. What is, I don't know. Maybe we should leave it unfinished and ask what everybody thinks. Maybe, yeah. Should we turn this into a book or, or a picture. pictures on the wall? Books and possible st strike book, strike picture. We're not sure yet. It does look quite cute on the, on the fireplace. It does. Um, yeah, so that was fun. There's just little bits of newspaper everywhere now. Yes. <laughs> and so many amazing pieces. I know. We've got lots of newspaper things to do. To me, yes. Um, I just want to say, someone asked what the yellow thing under the cot was. Mm -hmm. And it's actually an old pepper pot that would have been shaped like a... Suitcase. Suitcase, and we added a new handle to it, so it's a little suitcase. Tiny trunk for. I don't know. I don't know what they would keep under it. But yeah, it might be in the main room. We're not much sure yet. And also, I had to stick all the tiny Post and Charlottes on a piece of card, like a tiny thin piece of card, because they just kept slipping <laughs> out between the holes. They yeah. were desperate to get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, only with um, like putty. Oh though. yeah, no, no not yeah. with glue. But yeah. They look very cute all lined up like that. Yeah. <laughs> By size order, I see. <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments down below, book or picture. And um, we have lots of other pictures that we're going to turn into pictures from the <laughs> newspaper. So we hope you enjoyed. We This newspaper's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. It's very exciting. We will see you next time. Not sure. What, what for be? yet? Maybe the, maybe the the unboxing of the furniture. Lots oh, of people possibly, yeah. Would quite like to see that, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Yeah, it's wonderful, and yeah. we're really enjoying this new channel. So we will see you soon. Hope you have a good rest of the week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>